Hi there, Terry Runyon here, creative encourager and visual artist. And I'm here today to do a request video that I had for how I create videos. Now this is not a tech video. I'm the kind of girl who just shoots things at the bare minimum. And I picked up a few things to do this and I'm gonna share all that with you in this video. I'm also going to do a quick demo of painting while showing you how I'm shooting that. So let's get started. The first and foremost important thing when you're shooting videos is to make friends with your camera lens because your camera lens is your connection to your audience. So looking at your camera lens straight in the eyeballs is the best way to make a connection with your audience. So once you've got that squared away, it's always nice to have a little water around because if you're anything like me, my mouth gets dry while I'm talking. I'm going to start with what I shoot my headshots on, and that is on this webcam camera. It's called a Logitech camera, and I'm going to be linking to all my products that I use in the comments below. I hook my webcam camera up to my iMac desktop and I use the QuickTime app to shoot my videos. And right here on my iMac screen you can see that this camera is shooting my photo right here. And so what I usually do is I use this camera to shoot my headshots while I'm talking. And I use my iPhone, which is already mounted in this really cool stand I just bought. I'm going to link to all this stuff below and I shoot my down shots of the artwork that I'm creating with my iPhone mounted onto this bracket. I switch back and forth between my headshot camera, which is this webcam, and my iPhone camera, which shoots my artwork. So once I do all the footage for that, I bring all that footage into the ScreenFlow app on my iMac Pro and put it all together in a video. So next I'm going to show you a little bit more about how I do that, how I shoot my videos and how I shoot my down shots on my artwork. <laughs> I just need to tell you guys, we have messed around with this all morning trying to get these camera shots of my head talking about what I'm doing here and it's absolutely ridiculous. So I, I just, my goal here is to have fun to see if I can say something helpful, and that's it. So even if you're here having a laugh about how this is going, that's all good. So let's go. We've got um, to remember that a microphone is very important. If you are going to be putting things up on YouTube or wherever you're going to be sharing your videos, even more important than the visual part of your videos is how well your audience can hear you. So I think investing in a good microphone is worthwhile, as well as you know, getting a decent camera and whatever you're using for your down shots. It could be a regular camera or it could be your iPhone camera or your Android camera. This is the number one priority here for, for shooting video. The microphone I use is my handy dandy note card. The microphone I use is an M I'm so bad at this. <laughs> okay, there's some thoughts. You know, I talk a lot about thoughts. I'm having a whole bucket load of thoughts about how I'm doing with this video. So I'm just gonna continue on even though that's happening and it'll pass by as I get more focused on what I'm doing. So this is a Movo VXR 10 microphone. This right here is an analog microphone, so my friend Larry says, and he says that a UX, USB. He says that a USB microphone is a better microphone. They're also way more expensive, and I don't have one of those. Anyway, invest in a good microphone. You can also use the microphone on your iMac and also on your iPhone. They will not give you as good a quality of audio as you'll get with an external microphone, but if you are limited in your funds, 
using those microphones is fine to start off. So what we're gonna do now is move to the normal shots I take, which is through this here webcam, and then back and forth between these two cameras, which is what I usually only use. So let's get started with that. By the way, if you're like me and have cats living with you, there's a never ending supply of cat hair and everything that I do. And this can be really annoying or seen as funny. And usually I just leave it in if a cat sticks their hand in something or you know anything gets caught in the picture with a cat. I just find it as further entertainment, both for myself and whoever's watching. So don't edit that stuff out too much because it, it really does bring life to your videos. Unfortunately, I don't have a cat here with me today to, to give proof for that situation, but maybe somebody will show up later. Okay, I'm doing my headshot now for this how-to video. I'm looking at my webcam right in the eyeball, and I've got my microphone right below me. I've also got my iPhone on my new stand. Let me turn off that light so you can see it. Here it is, right here. So I got the light back on the subject, and I'm going to now switch back and forth between talking to you here and painting my paintings. So let's get started. Okay, I've got the watercolor part done on this and now I'm going to start with the rest of the details. So I'm switching back and forth like I said I was going to do with these cameras. I'm now on my webcam camera hooked to my iMac and I've got my shots done with the watercolor piece from my iPhone above it. And now I'm going to move into the details, the faces and all that sort of stuff. So pens in hand glasses back on and here we go.
Okay, I'm going to call this done and I'm going to uh, jump back to my other camera and give some final words about this creation I'm doing today, both how I do it and what I'm doing. And uh, I'll see you soon. So that's all I have for you today on how I shoot my videos. Today I uniquely shot with three cameras in order to bring this to you. And normally, again, it's just the, this stuff here. I got my arm for my iPhone. I've got my artwork down here. I've got this lighting over here, which I forgot to share with you, for my headshots. It's right behind my camera. I got my microphone, which are both this microphone and this camera are hooked up to the iMac. And then I have these lights, which I also forgot to share with you. These lights are for lighting the surface that I'm painting on. I've got my watercolor paints right next door here. And I'm ready with whatever pens I might be needing, as well as the handy glasses that I use. You may not need this product. You'll have to check that out for yourself. Again, I'm going to put down in the notes below everything I've been using here today, including the watercolors I use, the pens I use, all the camera equipment. So if you've enjoyed this video, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Talk to you soon.